So you're thinking about moving to Jersey City, New Jersey. Wait, and let me tell you why, because there are so many reasons why you should probably not make the move to Jersey City. And you probably think I'm crazy for saying this, but trust me, there are many good reasons why you should avoid Jersey City. Hear me out. Let's get after it. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in North New Jersey, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you're the first to know about what's going on in North New Jersey. For those that don't know, this is Seth with the Living in North New Jersey channel and we get calls, emails, messages every day from people just like you who's looking to make a move to North New Jersey and we absolutely love it. So whether it's one day later or a thousand days later, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to North New Jersey. So as we mentioned, we're going to be talking about the top reasons why you should not consider Jersey City if that's something that you're planning on doing, especially if you're a commuter to New York City. And trust me, we help people move to Jersey City every single day and we absolutely love doing it. But there are some reasons that you need to know before you consider Jersey City. So why don't we get after it right away? All right, let's get started with number one, the cost of living in Jersey City. It is not cheap to live in Jersey City unless you compare it to Manhattan. There, there isn't a huge difference. But when you want to get a gallon of milk, that's going to probably be around four bucks. I mean, a movie ticket, that's probably like $15 minimum. Uh, and if you're planning to get a dinner for two, probably won't get out of the restaurant under $50 at all. But let me tell you that there are a ton of things that you can do without charge, like going to amazing local parks, uh, Liberty State Park, for example, and absolutely the amazing waterfronts where obviously that's free. So everything is not expensive. Everything obviously doesn't have a charge to it. And yes, we're talking about high rents. We're talking about high property taxes as well. And let me tell you, the median home price in Jersey City is $600,000. So if that's something you're okay with, awesome if you're coming from new york that's probably good news for you but let's move on to number two reason number two is overcrowding sure it's a great alternative to new york city but a lot of people are thinking the same thing so that's why it is pretty crowded in jersey city there's a lot of traffic sometimes lots of people walking around and the downtown area tends to get extremely packed if you're looking to go use the path train to get to the city well there could be a lot of people there and some wait time as well just something to keep in mind reason number three schooling so schooling could be a mixed bag in jersey city there is a lot of good schools but some schools need some work so if you're planning to move to jersey city Make sure what part of Jersey City you're choosing because it can really vary what part of Jersey City you're on. Uh, Jersey City downtown does have pretty good schools, but if you're thinking about other Jersey City parts, it could really change depending on the neighborhood and location. So if you're thinking about sending your kids to a really good school, you might need to cough up some money for a private school potentially. Reason number four, limited nightlife. And let me tell you, Jersey City is huge. A lot of people tend to focus on the Heights area as well as Jersey City downtown. But let me tell you, there is not too much to do at night. So if you're used to 24 seven restaurants or bars or whatever the case is, probably not gonna find a whole lot in Jersey City. So you might need to go to the city for something like that, or maybe get used to the different lifestyle if you wanna save a few bucks and live a cleaner and a nice area like Jersey City. Reason number five, parking woes. So let me tell you, do you have a car? Well, good luck parking because it's gonna be extremely difficult to find parking on the streets in Jersey City, specifically or especially in downtown Jersey City. If you want a permit, that's gonna run around $300 a year. Uh, and that's if you are lucky enough to find a parking spot. If not, you can obviously always you know, reserve a parking spot in one of the garages that are up for rent. Uh, and those tend to cost anywhere from 200 to $300 a month. Or if you do get lucky and if you do find an apartment that comes with parking, that's the best uh, case scenario. So that's something that could be working out for you as well if you do find that. All right, reason number six, proximity to busier places. So what does this mean? 
In Jersey City, I mean, yeah, you do have the perk of being super close to New York City, which is awesome, right? You get to commute super fast and easy. But keep in mind that it's not so like other parts of New Jersey where it's, you know, calm and peaceful. There's going to be a lot of noise and a lot of Jersey City is very comparable to the noise and traffic and this overall congested feel of New York City as well. So just something to keep in mind. If that's something you're totally okay with, this is not something to worry about. But for those that hear New Jersey in Jersey City, just needs to make sure that you know that this place is a very populated area with lots of traffic. Uh, if that's something you like, awesome. If not, just something to keep in the back of your mind. Season number seven limited green spaces so liberty state park is one of the best parks in new jersey and that's located in jersey city which is awesome but if you're not living super close to liberty state park uh, and you just are a person that wants green space everywhere might not be the best fit for you especially if you're a dog owner um that's looking to you know go into parks and going to walking areas things like that i mean there are small parks in jersey city but it's not a whole lot and it's not huge uh like many other parts of new jersey has to offer but just something that you should know before planning to make this move all right reason number eight commuting to new york city I mean, yes, a lot of people are enjoying the fact that it's close to New York City and you can potentially easily go to New York City, right? Wrong. Sometimes if you don't watch out for what time you're going to the city, it could be of a wait time and bit of craziness as well there could be lines at the pass station i mean if you're close to the ferry where jersey city downtown is that's a whole different story super easy to get across within about six seven minutes but if you're not in the downtown area close to the waterfront and you want to use the light rail the path the bus uh might be a little hectic or it might take some time to get used to just something that you should know because uh, a lot of people thinks it's rainbows and butterflies but it's not always the case there you have it, eight compelling reasons why you should think twice before calling Jersey City your new home. And trust me, there's a lot of different things to consider here and many people 100% love Jersey City and still call it their home. It's just a matter of, you know, these things affecting your decision making or not. And it's really important to know these before you do make that move. But like I said, we do help people move to Jersey City every single day and we absolutely love helping them. But if you're planning to make Jersey City your home or maybe another town or area, contact us down below. We have information you can call us text us email us or maybe schedule a zoom call with us and maybe we can potentially help you decide whether this place is a good fit for you or not and if you do have any other questions shoot them down below in the comment section and if you still haven't done so hit that like button tap the subscribe button and i'll see you guys around town